Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Well, it is time for this week's Steam Profile, and our focus today is science and a man who makes his living creating and caring for underwater habitats. Kegel 9's Jasmine Beal takes us inside a day in the life of an aquarium keeper. One fish, two fish, white fish, blue fish. I know what a happy fish looks like. Meet Daniel Gilboa. He's an aquarium keeper, also known as an aquarist. Keeping these animals alive in an enclosed environment, which is what an aquarist does. From his Signal Hill shop, age of aquariums, Daniel breeds fish, freshwater plants, and endangered marine life like sea anemones and coral. Corals are very sensitive to water quality. For these plant-like animals to grow and survive, conditions have to be just right. If uh, temperature fluctuates a little bit too much, if there's excess pollution in there, that will affect the coral. It's almost like the canary in the coal mine. Where coral is thriving, so are the clams and so are the fish. In addition to water quality, it's really important to have a balanced aquarium. From the bottom feeders, trawling the gravel to the vibrant fish skimming near the top. Every different animal has kind of its role in, in maintaining the aquarium. Of all the steam disciplines, aquarists rely most on science. In addition to his shop, Dan has designed and maintains more than 400 aquariums in local homes and businesses. On a weekly basis, we check the calcium, the magnesium, the potassium, the nitrate. So we run a whole gamut of tests. They also check the health of the fish. When he sees cloudy eyes or sluggish swimming, we rehabilitate the fish. There's different medications we can use. One of Dan's favorite projects, the lobby of LA's Union Station. Every Monday, he climbs up a ladder, then drops into the station's 7,500 gallon aquarium. It's so big, I have to dive in it to clean it. Then comes the real fun. I hand feed some of the fish because they are too timid to come up to the surface and get their own food. Dan got his first fish tank as a teen. It triggered an understanding of science that then led to a degree in marine biology. Then encounters with creatures small and big. He says these liquid habitats are terrific first teachers and recommends them to anyone struggling with biology or science. Aquarium keeping can be a really good road to learning about these other subjects. I think our relationship to aquariums really gives us an appreciation for the environment in general, gives us more of an appreciation for our planet. And for more on STEAM careers, just go to our website, kkel9.com slash STEAM.